Senior Minister Li Xianlong recently issued a warning that Singapore's shrinking electoral margins could constrain the government's ability to make long-term decisions. Speaking at the annual public service leadership ceremony, Senior Minister Li explained that if the People's Action Party, PAP, continues to lose electoral support, the government will have less political room to pursue policies that may not be immediately popular but are crucial for the nation's future. Narrow electoral margins make it harder to ignore short-term pressures, which could lead to significant changes in the country's political landscape. Senior Minister Lee urged Singaporeans and the public service to understand the potential risks. He emphasized that Singapore faces growing internal and external challenges, with rising demands from citizens. The PAP's vote share dropped in the 2020 general election to 61.24%, down from 69.9% in 2015, and the party notably lost the Senkang GRC to the Workers' Party. The shift in voter behaviour signals a changing political environment in Singapore. Reflecting on governance, Senior Minister Lee credited Singapore's past success to good policies, political leadership, and a strong public service. He emphasised that Singapore has avoided populism by making difficult but necessary decisions, such as the phased increase of the goods and services tax, GST. Although the decision was expected to cost the PAP votes, it was necessary to fund healthcare costs for the country's aging population. This kind of political decision, Lee explained, shows the government's long-term commitment to the stability and well-being of Singapore, even at the expense of short-term popularity. He urged the public service to continue leading by example and to work closely with political leaders to address national issues such as public transport, immigration, and income inequality. Senior Minister Lee emphasized that maintaining high-quality political leadership and a dedicated public service is essential for Singapore to remain exceptional. Head of Civil Service Leo Yip echoed these concerns and praised Senior Minister Lee for making tough decisions in the face of declining political margins. Yip also emphasized the public service's duty to support long-term national objectives, noting that it is important to steer the public sector to think and act as one in the interest of the country. Despite the PAP holding a supermajority in Parliament, the Workers' Party's victory in Senkang GRC and their increased presence in Parliament reflect a growing desire for more balanced representation. The Workers' Party's associate Professor Jameis Lim played a significant role in the 2020 general election, particularly during live debates where he challenged the idea that the PAP should have an uncontested mandate. His message, which resonated with voters in Senkang, was clear. The Workers' Party does not oppose the PAP's right to govern but seeks to prevent them from receiving a blank check in Parliament, ensuring greater accountability and oversight. The results of the 2020 general election, with the PAP securing 83 out of 93 seats, show that Singapore's political landscape is evolving. The growing presence of opposition parties signals a shift in voter preferences and the increasing complexity of governance in the country. Now, here's a question for you. Do you think Singapore's government should prioritise long-term stability over short-term popularity, or do you believe that public opinion should have a greater influence on political decisions? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel, 2230 for more in-depth news coverage and discussions.